What's up guys? So it's Monday the 13th. Um, I'm on my way to Home Depot. I gotta go pick up a, a hose for a nice machine. And then I gotta go to the theater to work on a reach in. And then also check out another ash machine that it's uh, that I guess I have to do a maintenance on. I don't know. <laughs> Shit, I just caught. Jesus Christ. Um. But yeah, man. I mean, hopefully none of you guys got the damn virus. I can't even say the 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 the, uh, the name for it because then this video is gonna get demonetized, like mother video did. So I had to do a bunch of editing on it. <laughs> But uh, I mean, hopefully everybody's doing good. Me personally, I'm starting to see the effects on <clears throat> on trying to get baby wipes and baby food. Because as you all know, I have a, I just had a kid, a little girl. She's about, how old is she? She's about eight months old. <clears throat> so trying to get baby wipes and baby food, it's, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's kinda getting kinda difficult. So that's that's the only thing I'm struggling on. Other than that, I mean it's it's just like in every every other day, you know, just make sure you wash your hands. What I've been trying to do is trying to get cleaner and keep wiping down the steering wheel on the van because I mean we do touch this a lot. So guys, I wanna bring up the giveaways that I was trying to do uh, last week. Unfortunately, I've been trying to go to the mailing place to get the little stamps to send to, you know, so I can go ahead and do the giveaways. And they've been closed for the past week. Um, I went today in the morning and they were still closed. So I'm gonna try and go tomorrow and see if they're finally open so I can go ahead and do the giveaway. Cause I'm basically stuck. Like I can't, I don't got none of those stamps. Uh, so that's, that's where I'm at with that. So right now, Let's go ahead and head up to Home Depot, get the hose that I need, and then go work on that ash machine and the reaching cooler. Hopefully I'm able to take you guys along. I need a 5.8. Clear hose, walk over, 5.16. Five eights. guys it's freaking cold it's raining so basically what i got was a clear hose um and then a uh, bunch of sizes of the clamps basically this one's there i, I believe hoshisaki yeah hoshisaki's ice machines they have a drain on the back that go that it's on the on the water pump behind it it's like a little drain uh plug so I'm gonna go ahead and connect this because I guess that's what the previous tech said that it needed. And then I think in that exam unit, exact unit, we're gonna go ahead and do a maintenance if it's super dirty. So let's go ahead and head over and uh, get this jet day over with. So I'm gonna try and record as much as possible, guys. I don't know if it's, I'm gonna be able to because it's theater. So they might be kind of strict with their camera policy. All right, guys, so here's the unit. 
Norlag. Everything's off. I believe it's disconnected. This is where they make some of the food here at the theater. We also take care of those ice machines. Let me see if it's plugged in. So what I like to do guys before I even touch anything is I like to give a visual inspection just to make sure nothing looks out of the ordinary. First things first, condense is pretty bad so I'll have to clean that. Nothing else looks out of the ordinary. Drain line looks good. So let me go ahead and plug it in, see what it does. Compressors on, 68 degrees. Alright guys, so I can hear the compressor run, but not my condenser. So, let me go ahead and shut it back off. I'm going to go ahead and try and take my condenser out, so I can properly check the condenser. Make sure that connector looks good. Yeah, all good. All right, guys, compressor's back on. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the motor's trying to spin super slow. So let's try to boost it up. Yeah, back in the motor. So I don't know if you guys were able to tell, but it was moving super slow. I was trying to hit it. Yeah, it's pretty sea slow. Look at that. Pretty easy, easy peasy. Um, model number for the motor is MA-74259. Yeah, mom and A as mom. So I just called the RSD right here in the area. Uh, and like I said, I know this motor is special order, but I just wanted to call them and confirm first. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, send in the information for this motor. That way my manager can go ahead and order from factory itself. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the condenser whenever we install the motor. So that way I can take the whole motor apart, clean it from the inside out because it's pretty greasy and pretty a lot of land too. So that's what I gotta clean. I gotta sanitize this bin. And then after that, I don't know if you guys can tell the little drain right there. This one. So basically I just have to add a uh, the clear hose all the way down to the drain. That way it doesn't get water all over the place. And that's basically it guys. So basically now I just gotta take all this ice out, dump it in there, and uh, start cleaning this thing up. All right, guys, never mind. 
I also have to clean all this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's it's pretty bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off, take the bottom piece off, and sanitize all this, clean it as much as possible. Overcoming the obstacles, guys. Yeah, drink line. Remember guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sanitize the whole system, so. It should be good. So now while I let that thing go, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning the top. Almost done guys. Okay. Look at this, guys. Some of them broke. Well, not this one like this one because the calcium was so built up that I couldn't take it out from the top so we're gonna have to order some new ones so basically what I do let me go ahead and close this so the best way to take this calcium out guys is to put them on hot water. Leave them there for like 35 minutes, 40 minutes, and most of the calcium is gonna be off. So basically what I'm doing guys is going through this, through this whole thing, trying to get most of it out. And then once I deep clean the other stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in, and then uh, put in, uh, ice machine cleaner that way I get the rest of it out so pretty bad I like doing it like this guys because that way I'm able to take the big things out first and then use that uh that cleaner I know I think RSD or Ally they sell a brush so you're able to put it all the way in but I'm kind of too lazy to go get one So let me show you the difference. Look at this one. And look at the one that I just cleaned. And all I did was put them in hot water, 35 minutes. After that, take it out, scrub it down. It comes out like nothing. Pretty cool. It's probably the best way. If you don't got cleaner, for you for those people. So. Oh shit. Okay. Alright guys, clean them up as much as possible. 
clean those out too. Clean this one out. Looking way better. Clean the whole bin. Look how dirty the water is. You can see all the calcium on the bottom. So right now I have the unit on wash mode. Let it go through the cycle. I'm gonna go ahead and put cleaner. And then uh, do the bin last. So I guess it's getting kind of serious guys. Um, check this thing out. Shut down. So basically, six counties in San Francisco will be shut down. So I don't know if that means we're not gonna be going to the Bay Area. I don't know. So we're just gonna go ahead and wait for, for basically the boss to send an email saying what we're gonna do. But man, that's crazy. Everything's legit shutting down. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do today, I'm gonna go to the store, trying to stock up on much frozen food as possible. Uh, I mean, fuck. I don't know, guys. It's just people taking this way out of proportion. It's just, like my friend, uh, Daniel, he just called me from, uh, he works in the Bay Area. He works at a hospital. And I guess there's a lot of people that have it at the hospital. So now, uh, he was going to work. They, they basically closed down all the entrance and are questioning the employees. If they have coughs, fucking, you know, symptoms, all that stuff. And I guess most of them will be going uh, home with paid leave for two weeks. So hopefully that happens with us. Hopefully we get to go home for two weeks paid. Because if not, then I don't know, because bills, bills don't wait. So let me know what you guys are experiencing in you guys' counties. But yeah, man, I mean, San Francisco is closing down. Pretty crazy. Look at that. God damn. All right, let's go back to the ice machine. Right now I have the cleaner going, so. It should be done by now. I've been waiting for like 45 minutes. It's getting so crazy, guys, that I'm gonna have to start leaving my house without wiping my ass. God damn. I mean, fuck. With people taking all the damn toilet paper. So if I remember correctly, this ice machine takes about 30 minutes. This is what I do guys. For the new guys, I recommend you guys, every time you guys work on an ice machine, take the model number, serial number, and write down uh, the cycle times and everything. That's basically what I do. Like for this one, write down everything. It kind of helps you prevent you from calling uh, tech support. Alright guys, so we're done for today. Um, leave in the comment section. Let me know how you guys are doing. How you guys are dealing with this shit. Because, I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. Uh, me personally, I'm not that nervous. To be honest with you guys, it's just, it's just annoying. You know what I mean? Uh, because tomorrow, I have a job set up for Oakland that I have to go do. So, I don't know if it's going to get canceled i don't know so we'll see so like i said guys if you guys enjoyed the video later